this video you're about to watch took me four months and um you just gotta watch the video as it goes hi good people how are you doing today hope you're doing great elster africa here again and um i mean like this is gonna be a series or do i say an interesting one I am hoping to meet like 20 Cameroonian YouTubers just to like ask them what they do for a living and uh, man I hope you're gonna love this one so you just gotta cross your fingers come with me and uh, let's see what this video is gonna like bring forth and uh, man like this video is not really gonna be an easy one because I'm gonna be meeting these Cameroonian YouTubers not just going to meet them in person because you gotta write them go meet them in person and then you shoot a video and so I think that this video is gonna cost me a lot and presently I am in Yaoundé this is where I'm gonna be starting this video and uh, not right now I'm gonna be meeting Victorine B. let's go see what this is gonna bring for uh, something like that I hope you're getting it yeah so come with me let me see what this is gonna be okay so with me right here I've got Victorine B. Takwe and uh, you know what this video is gonna be all about it's gonna be asking me asking Cameroonian youtubers what they do for a living out of YouTube and so with me here I've got her and so let's hear from her what she do like I mean you get Hi guys. it hey, hey, hey. how are you guys doing Can we tell you where we are at we are at select views at post Sankar. he went out he was filming and I told him that this place is very dangerous but he wouldn't listen he just told me that Duala is more dangerous than this place. We used to eat like that. Okay, so he was asking what I do out of YouTube. Yes. YouTube is my main job for the moment. Because YouTube is the thing that is paying me all the money that I get like lately. But out of YouTube, I am a makeup artist. I don't have makeup up like that, but that's what I do. I have a school. The school is called Red Raising Aesthetic Domain. We teach, um, we teach people how to do makeup. We teach people how to do manicure, pedicure, just beauty stuff like that. It's a whole institution, and we have graduated over 200 students in the past years. And then out of out of makeup, I am also a singer. Even though some of the songs I have, they are also here on YouTube, but. I am a singer, you should check out my songs, they are up on YouTube and yes, that should be some of the things I do. You know, this video, like, I just decided to do this for most of you who think that people who have decided to do YouTube videos are lazy. Man, no, no. you gotta watch this video to the end because stories like hers or oh, when you hear what most of these YouTubers do out of YouTube, you're gonna be inspired, like, you're gonna just love it and know that no. These people are people who have passion and have decided to like share their life with you and also share some experiences with you. And, yeah. I mean, you're getting it. Yeah. So, man, this was just the first person and uh, many more is still to come. Yeah. So, keep watching and uh, you're going to learn more. You're going to know something new. You're going to be informed about some of the things that you don't know about Cameroonian YouTubers. Yeah. And so, here I've got Cliveto. For people who have been watching my channel, you already know this face, yo. Let's hear, let's hear from him what he does, what he does for a living out of YouTube. I'm a Cameroonian YouTuber based in Douala and Yaoundé. Yeah, I live in Douala but I school in Yaoundé. So I've already like reviewed one of what, something I do. So I'm a student at a university here in Yaoundé and apart from being a student, I also have some part-time horses that I do. Um, apart from YouTube, as I do YouTube as a part-time horse, I'm also a graphic designer. Yeah, a graphic designer, even a website developer. So I do some website for friends, graphic designs for friends, and so on. And I also, I'm also a photographer. I also do outdoor photography because I don't have a studio. Yeah, so. That's just the things I do apart from YouTube. Okay, I think that you heard everything from his own mouth. Like, you know this video, I want to, I want it to always be like, I go 
do the things by myself. Yeah. This is the second YouTuber, like hashtag two. Yeah, hey guys. Let's wait for number three. Yeah. We go. Hi, good people. It's still on the series of asking Cameroonian YouTubers what they do for a living out of YouTube. And uh, right here now, I've got Evelyn G. Uh, let's hear from how she does out of YouTube. Okay. Hello. Yeah, so I'm Elvin Jig and I'm on YouTube. What I do aside to YouTube, I'm a teacher by profession normally. Yeah, so I teach not in town, out of town. So I often travel to teach and um, yeah, that is it basically. So I just started my channel. Let me just say thanks to COVID. <laughs> wow. Yeah. This was just the third person, like hashtag three. Yes, and please do subscribe to Lasta Africa. Lasta Africa, yeah. <laughs> Hi good people, like um, now it's hashtag, I think we are on hashtag 4 right now. Uh, here I've got Darling Liz, I hope I've pronounced the name so well because I've been pronouncing uh, for other YouTubers and the way they come and pronounce the name again, I'm like lost. Yeah. <laughs> so right now let's hear from her. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. In fact, it's not my channel but I'm giving like I'm here with the one and only L Star. <laughs> and we are in Douala currently. He was in Yaoundé. And we've been trying to book this meeting for the longest time for so first of all I'm not working. I'm not working. So I finished uni um, a year ago. I fin I had my HND in nursing. I have not yet done the but so I had my HND and so I'm in this now but I decided to do YouTube because it kind of brings out the creativity in me I'm more of a creative person um, I think we just heard from our own mouth like I'll keep on saying this for people who think that uh, people who are doing YouTube especially in Cameroon you know that the YouTube space in Cameroon is still very young and the uh, people who are being paid here I mean like the, the, the amount they get is so small that you cannot actually imagine but And it's just a reminder, YouTube is open for all so you can always feel free to join whenever you want YouTube has no boundaries, it has no limitations Hey good people, how are you today? Nakia is a very big name in the Cameroonian YouTube space and so here, let's hear from her what she does out of YouTube or is capable of doing out of YouTube um, okay, so I do a little bit of everything. Uh, my followers on YouTube already know I, I'm a full time mom, so I'm always home. But I, I sell clothes. Yeah, I have an online shop where I sell clothes. So when I have time, I go out and I sell the clothes. And I also, the majority of the time, I'm home and I sell from home. I also do decoration for parties. I do heat tables. Decorations, just any decoration you want, I can do for you. And then the last thing that I do is I personal shop for people with a lot of food trust my taste. So <laughs> every time somebody wants something, you could be abroad or you're in Cameroon, I don't have time to do it. I shop for you. So, yeah. Oh, wow. I think that I just had everything for her from her own mouth. Hello? Wait, no, I want to, I want to okay. bomb the video. <laughs> Don't just subscribe to my channel, also go to my Instagram, when you go to my channel, in all my description boxes, all my businesses are there, so you can use it for business. Hey, like, this video has actually been taking so, so long, I didn't have this idea in my mind, or I didn't believe it was gonna take this long, like, it's more than a month now, and I'm still at the fit YouTuber, and uh, here I am at hashtag 6. Right here, I've got the Mulu Ne. I just hope I'm pronouncing this name so well. Let's hear from her what she does for a living out of YouTube. Hey guys, um, welcome to this YouTube channel. If you aren't already subscribed, now is the right time to like, leave a comment. So, um, aside from YouTube, I'm a student. I am a master student in the Kali University of Yaoundé. I study international human rights law. Um, that's pretty much what I do aside from YouTube and the students. If I'm not on YouTube, I'm probably on TikTok or Instagram. So that's it. Uh, we still have more YouTubers to go. Hey, here we are on hashtag 7. That's YouTuber number 7. And um, here I am meeting Nadej Velo. 
here i could only do a voiceover because the first clip i actually lost that clip reason why probably if you watch my video you have seen this clip before but because i actually went to meet nadesh for this video um i mean the clip is here so let's hear from nadesh what she does for a living out of youtube hello guys welcome back to l star Afrix channel my name is Nadesh Mbulu, a content creator based in Yaoundé, the capital of Cameroon. It is, apart from YouTube, what else do you do? Apart from YouTube, I am a fish farmer and I own a business. That's what I do. Simple. So thank you so much and please subscribe to the channel. Right here we are on hashtag 8. That's YouTuber number 8. I've got here Manka Mirabel. Thank you, Elstar Africa. Thank you very much for this great opportunity. Um, Manka Mirabel, and I'd like to share with you what I actually do out of YouTube. I'm a mom of two, two children, a boy and a girl. I'm a data analyst. I work with the Georgetown Global Health. The aim of this video is to tell you what the Cameroonian YouTubers are capable of doing out of YouTube. You might as well need maybe some services from them. And uh, when you click to their channels, you're going to see their social media handles, all of that, where you could get to them in their inbox and whatsoever you need from them will be done at the best or in the best way you probably wish that would be done. Peace keep, out. keep, keep watching. We still have many YouTubers to go. <laughs> hey, one month passed already and uh, I'm still on YouTuber number nine. And right here, I have got the brain behind it, Block City. We're going to be hearing from him what he does for a living out of YouTube. Hi, I'm uh, Taiki Joe. I'm the person behind Plot City. I'm uh, a creative director and I, I, I don't think I can call myself, if I'm qualified to call myself a YouTuber. Of course you are. You're a YouTuber, man. <laughs> I'm, a content, I'm a content creator. <laughs> okay. Yes. So what we basically do at Plot City, we provide uh, visual services like commercials, we provide drone surveys and we provide other visual aspects of production. And like he said, I've not been on YouTube for a while, but I promise to come back with more content, of course. Yeah, I feel like after you watch this video, go watch that new video he just uploaded. Like that one is going to blow your mind. Like initially, I thought I was going to meet like 20 or 30 Cameroon YouTubers, but it seems like the game is changing. 15 YouTubers, I feel like that's not small because it's getting to two months already. I'm so excited because I'm already at the 10 person, hashtag 10. I mean, it seems like it's actually been easy going through all of this. Right here, I've got Lauren Shu and uh, we're going to be hearing from her what she does for a living out of YouTube or what she's capable of doing out of YouTube. Let's hear from her. Hi everybody, hi friends. Um, my name is Lorraine Shu. I am also a communications director for an NGO and I generally have a very strong background in journalism and communication. I have worked as a journalist at the radio and a little bit of TV, but it was more radio because I really love radio and I'm currently working as a communications director. There was even a time when I worked as a front desk receptionist um, and my capabilities. Yeah, I think I can handle your communication in any way that you want it. And I am also a social media manager, you know, and what else? I'm a jack of all trades. I can try anything. I'm, I'm also a very good video editor. If you watch my videos, then you realize that I'm passionate about video editing. I am not where I want to be yet, but at this point, I think I am good at it, so I think that's a summary of what I can do that. So keep watching as you're going to be hearing all of these amazing is it stories. <laughs> <laughs> amazing stories. Yes, as you're going to be hearing YouTubers. amazing stories from Miss YouTubers. Hope you've liked the video and uh, let's keep watching. Hi, good people. Good morning from Douala, Cameroon. And right now we are on hashtag 11 and right here I have got patience yo she's gonna be telling us what she's capable of doing out of YouTube let's hear from her okay hi guys um, thank you so much for having me on here so what else do I do besides YouTube 
YouTube for me is not yet the job. It's not yet paying. I just do YouTube out of maybe the law for it, the passion for it. So besides YouTube, I am an accountant. Um, for the moment, I am a freelance accountant. Um, I'm also a makeup artist. I'm a businesswoman. I own a, an online shop that sells of oil perfume, or perfume oils rather. Basically, that's what I do for now. Oh wow! Yeah. I think that I just heard from her, and uh, I, I'm sure she's just the first person who said she's doing YouTube out of the passion she has for YouTube. And we see how many YouTubers to go. So, hi, good people. I know uh, right now we are on hashtag twelve. Like this has actually taken long. I think that the last time I met the eleven person, it is a month. I think a month right now. Um, Marie of uh, Reeves. Well, let's hear from her. I want to thank you for this opportunity you're giving me. Out of YouTube, I'm a businesswoman, I'm a designer, and I'm a hairstylist. Oh. So that's what I do for a living, aside of YouTube. Wow, I think that I heard that from her. So, you just need to keep watching. We still have some YouTubers to go. Let's see you in the next one. Hi, good people. It's evening here in the city of Douala, Cameroon. And uh, here I've got Christelle Tangem. Uh, we're gonna be hearing from, from her what she does for a living out of YouTube. But then, she's uh, the 13th YouTuber I am meeting. That's hashtag 13. Let's hear from her what she's capable of doing out of YouTube. All right, guys. Hello. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'm a new YouTuber. I'm just a month old. So I was so pleased when uh, he contacted me that he wanted to do this. So I'm really honored to be on L Star Africa's channel. And uh, please don't forget, those that subscribe to me, don't forget to subscribe to him. I work with the Dwala Port Authority. So um, that's that's where I'll say my bread of my bread comes from as of now, since I'm not making anything on YouTube yet. So that's what I do for now. I work with the Port Authority. I'm a charge de tuit assistant. I don't know the affiliation in English, <laughs> forgive me. <laughs> so, you, I'll search, I'll love for you guys to subscribe to my channel. And if you need any inquiry about our ports, like maybe how to clear uh, clear your car, how to get a piece of land to invest in the ports, how to have access within the ports of the world, because now the access to the port of the world has been fully restricted. No more anyhow entry and anyhow exit. To come in, you need an access card and everything. So, for all those inquiries, just Hit me up and you'll be fully informed. Oh wow, I, I feel like I've, I've actually learned a lot from this. And then maybe she did not say this, like, I, when I started watching her videos, she's very good in editing. Like, she just started, but then her editing skills <laughs> is actually one of the things that made me love the channel, like her channel in particular. Uh, and, uh, thank you. man, like, I feel like it's a buy from this end. We still have some YouTubers to go. Keep watching. Their link is in the description box. You just need to check them out and go subscribe to their YouTube channel. Peace out. See you in the next one. Hi, good people. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing great. And uh, right here, I've got Tekka's Varieties. Yay! We're going to be hearing from her what she's capable of doing out of YouTube or what she actually does out of doing YouTube videos. Let's hear from her. Hey, guys. Okay, thank you very much for inviting me talking about what I do outside YouTube I go to school I am actually a student a master's two student in petroleum drilling engineering so I'm actually on my final year and I school in the northern region part of Cameroon yeah I, I think that you just had everything from time um, she's YouTuber number 14. Oh, I think that I forgot. <laughs> I, I missed out on this. Yeah. This hashtag, we are on hashtag 14. Yeah. Still hoping to meet some more YouTubers. Hi, good people. And uh, right now we are on hashtag 15. That's YouTuber number 15. And guess who we've got here? <laughs> <laughs> the big man. Like He's a big man himself. He's here. Chimex. Like, if you don't know this name, then probably you're missing out. Like, if you've been watching Cameroon YouTubers, you should probably know about Chimex. Uh, we're gonna be hearing from him what he does for a living out of YouTube. Oh, right away, let's hear from him. Oh, bro, you have the mic. <laughs> um, first, I want to say I started YouTube out of like 
frustration. Oh. I had nothing to do before I got into YouTube because I had just lost my job. I used to work at the Nile Dutch at the Poor. It's a shipping company, but during the COVID, when COVID hit, yeah, yeah. you know, they had to eliminate some people. So I just couldn't stay at home like that without doing anything. So yeah, that's when I dust, uh, I dust my lens and um, began filming. But besides YouTube, I'm into a lot of stuff. I know people, when, when they say you're into a lot of stuff, you actually do nothing, but I'm <laughs> <laughs> That sounds funny. Yeah. yeah, true. Like I'm into a lot of stuff. I'm doing yeah, there. But yeah, but that's just the hustle. I'm into a lot of stuff. I'm a transport and, and I'm a transport and logistics officer wow. by profession. Yeah, so I can help compile documents for shipping, export, and import. Oh, wow. And with my experience at the shipping company Nile Dodge, I have some expertise on how to maneuver your ways and get things done easy without any bottlenecks little bottlenecks oh wow yeah <laughs> and uh, like what you just said I, I, and right now i've got my block already <laughs> <laughs> i didn't know about this so probably many people are actually learning from this and uh, it's a way to as as well expose your your skills to people out there who probably need your services yeah yeah and also like i said once before if you if you need any documentation in cameroon legit documentation in cameroon if your id card is having issues coming out you can call on you can call on your boy oh i can um, produce it in less than a week wow legally no backpack or anything <laughs> legally no yeah. oh, wow, wow. before we used to do passports as well but due to the recent uh, system yeah, yeah, yeah. now everything can be done with ease oh, within wow. two days and all that so yeah. that one is out of this that we are out of business but we are out of business on that wow but we can facilitate any documentation you need i can facilitate any documentation you need legally and um, making life easy for cameroonians oh wow yeah i'm also into real estate thanks to youtube um the real estate videos i do yeah yeah i also get to book um apartments for clients here in Cameroon with so much is you know coming to Cameroon and getting a place to stay it's something which is it's kind of trickish and um, kind really of really trickish. yeah getting what you want and all that so through my channel I've been able to work with a lot of clients people from the UN I've been able to receive guests from all over the world and help them book their residence without any trouble oh okay. yeah. um, I think that you guys just had everything from him keep watching probably we still have some youtubers to go hello everyone how are you doing today um we are actually at the end of this series on this channel um we are on hashtag 16 now that's youtuber number 16 uh right now we have the brain behind aviation info probably you will not know about this so you need to go to the description box click on that link go check that youtube channel out he does videos showcasing um, just airplanes. Uh, let me put it in my own way. I know that you come and put it the right way. <laughs> uh, we, we're going to be hearing from him what he does out of doing YouTube videos. I even think that YouTube to him should be a part time, but uh, man, let's hear from him. Hi, viewers. Good afternoon. A pleasure to, to be here and thank you for this wonderful opportunity. Uh, actually, I am called Harrison. Uh, and uh, I run a YouTube channel called Aviation Info. Yeah, as you heard, yeah, Aviation Info it's a, a channel basically on about av aviation. And uh, I bring you on the channel the latest updates about everything happening in the aviation sector all through the African continent. When in regards to new airlines coming to the African sector, when it comes to new routes being opened by airlines, when it comes to new agreements signed by airlines, so it's basically all about aviation. I bring you various displays at the Dwell International Airport and other airports all around the world. So Aviation Info is a platform basically that I bring you updates and information about the aviation sector in Africa. Yeah, so that's just a brief of what I do on my, on my channel. And uh, actually, out of doing YouTube videos, what is that thing that you actually do out of doing YouTube videos? Let them know. <laughs> okay, so I am on YouTube on that platform just for fun. Oh, uh, my private life, I am uh, a flight dispatch. 
I know it's it, it's rare because when I say flare dispatch, everybody's like, what do you guys do? What do yeah. you guys do? <laughs> okay, I am a licensed flare dispatch, uh, licensed by the Cameroon Civil Aviation Authorities. And what I do is that we do flight plannings. Uh, I work with Rwanda and uh, we are in charge of Rwanda's airplane coming here in Douala. We plan the flights, we dispatch the flight to make sure the flight de de depart on time, to make sure they depart safe. So when it comes to flight planning and flight preparations, okay, then we are the first. I'm not just a flight dispatch, but I'm a licensed one, licensed by the Cameroon Civil Aviation Authority. Wow. So that's what I do out of aviation info. So on my channel, what I just do is, is just for fun, uh, just let people know what's happening. Yeah. yeah, because, you know, when I was growing, I never had the opportunity to, to see an airport or to come close to a plane. So I wonder on my channel, you can have the opportunity to see how the airport is, how things are being done, to see how airplanes function. Yeah, so that's basically it. Yeah. Um, I think that you just had everything from him. Um, man, um, it was nice doing this particular series. Um, every YouTuber I have met on this particular video, as I've been saying, their link is in the description box. You need to go check them out. Subscribe to their YouTube channels. And um, it's Esther Africa here and the Aviation Infos signing out on this series. It's a piece from you. All right, thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah.